Hi, welcome back to the course. I am Drick from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology and Education. And in this lesson, I would like to divide it into two parts. The first part or the first video, I will introduce to you some key characteristics of the pools with modulation or PWM. Then the second video, I will introduce to you how to use the PWM or CPP in a microcontrollers. Okay, so we start with the PWMs. PWM is basically a series of pools with two characteristics. The first characteristic would be the period or the amount of time for one pulse. So this is from here to here is one pulse. So a period from here to here, it takes how many times that the period of a pulse. Then we have the second pulse and the third pulse and so on. The second characteristic of PWM would be the duty cycle or the percentage of the on times. It is 50% here. Then we will do some experiment with PWM that apply to control a motor speed. Okay, I will use a simulation software. So we have here the power supply of Telvon applied directly to a 12 volt motors okay with a core resistance of 1.2 ohms okay then we have a switch here is modfet switch very simple switch that um, if we apply kind of 5 volt to the gate Okay, it will conduct the currents and there will be some currents go through the motors. Let's say we measure the currents. Okay, and then we press run. Okay, I have 5 ampere with 199.9 RPM, the speed of a motor. It's because my load here is 50% of the zero load or maximum rotation or RPM of a motor and the half of the currents it 12 on divided by 1.2 would be 10 okay here I have 50% uh, of load then let's say if we want to draw draw the currents through the times then we have here let's say we want to draw from 0 second to 1 second and then space then we have here some swing up uh, uh, the initial time for starting the motors and then it's steady at 5 amperes okay it's 5 amperes here then if we apply 0 volt then we will see there is no current and no rotation for the motors. If we take the simulation, it would be zero. Okay, somewhere zero. Then how about we apply a pulse at the gate that control the switch on and off. Let's say we start with one hertz or the period of uh, one over one hertz is one second. That means the pool is here, or the duty here is 50%. That means 50% on and 50% off. That means 0.5 second on and 0.5 second off. Okay, let's say the current would be, sorry, 5 won't place it here. All right, so 500 millisecond on and another 500 off let's say we take three seconds okay that's it on and another pulse another pulse so if we run the simulation we will see sometimes it run at full speed and sometimes it go back to zero so the currency is also like this so we can see a motor swing something okay 
then how about we increase the switching speed like 10 hertz or uh, the uh, period would be uh, 1 over 10 would be 0 0.1 second is faster switching we can actually draw a switching here let's say I want to draw it okay and drag it eh? okay let's say three seconds like this three seconds let's say okay so now it's faster switching as if I take only one then I would see only one two and three pulls and then I take 10 hertz it would be 10 times okay and then here I can see the current would be 10 times also so it is on times and oh sorry and then off time and then on and then off so the currents on and off and on and off okay we can also draw a voltage across the motors okay let's say uh, this is the motor current okay let's say right and then motor current sorry and then we place the rough of this value for motor voltage plus okay and then this one would be the motor voltage minus okay and then then we can measure the voltage across the motor we add the trace plus and then minus and then we take the minus so we take the v plus minus v minus okay then let's say three seconds okay then we will see some on times and then when we turn it off the motor will generate some uh, kind of negative voltage all right then we take negative voltage here and then it switch on okay if we want to reduce or we want to eliminate this negative voltage then we can apply a flyback diode into this circuit like this okay the diode will eliminate the um, um, negative voltage okay let's check it again okay so it cut out of the negative voltage okay let's check again for the current is similar the same and the pulls is the same also so I only need one second okay one more times to zoom a pulse okay so let's start it uh, 100 okay then the pulse is way all right there's a lot of pulls then how about the currents okay there's some starting current and then all right then you might need only 0 0.1 second okay this is only need 0 0.1 okay and then another 0 0.1 okay then if we run the motors we can see that uh, steady but the current uh, is changing sometimes okay it's, it is simulation for 100 hertz we cannot uh, figure out the changing because it's a little a little faster than the humans reaction so if we change to 1000 or 1 kilohertz it would be it would be let's say all right then it runs starting and then steady 
let's say 300 okay and then steady but the current will swing okay let's say um, I want to draw some steady moment here for the motors okay just need a little here and the current okay let's say I want to start somewhere 200 milliseconds okay up to 220 milliseconds okay what is the current all oh, right it's too much two okay or uh, four all right so this is zoom out from here somewhere here okay it take the currents going up and down and up and down and up and up the similar here okay we take 300 and the voltage across the motors is zero and 12 okay the 12 on apply all right then how about we change it to the other value for example 80 percent okay now the current would be for something it go up let's say 40% is a half pulse so we would see that uh, it's only uh, around 2 amperes so it half up the the uh, currents okay and then uh, let's check for the pulse it's the same 5 volt the voltage across the motor is the same okay so, but the currents is different uh, we can actually draw a uh, power of a motor. Let's say we delete it. We okay. We we gonna draw it more. Okay. This time is powers. So powers need the current. Okay, and it need the voltage across the motor. It say the currents multiply with the voltage across the motors say from 0 to 100 0 to 300 okay stay we measure this the same 300 okay and 0 to 300 millisecond okay let's say all right that's it that the powers of the motors Let's say we want to zoom the powers a little bit. Let's say right here. Oh, sorry. Take here. Say for 100, 200 millisecond, 204. Let's see. Oops, sorry. We add the trace. The same principle. Is before this one okay let's say minus sorry let's say all right this is the powers okay it's around uh, it swings okay then if we change to 80 for example then the level of a power would go up let's say all right it double the powers okay example here so we go to 45 something okay okay let's say 80 percent g at 80 percent okay save it all right 80 percent then if we want to have another parameter we will we might draw a new circuit let's say copy
then we place the voltage okay 40 percent motor voltage plus and then 40 percent motor voltage minus okay and then we will have the circuits here okay we want to put it uh, into the same axis the same diagram let's take it here for the new value all right so 40 percent 12 let's say all right 0 0.1 and this is 200 okay let's say what is the value of it 10 okay let's say we have to do the same motors okay let's say redo it again all right so this is 40 percent and this is 80 percent so then we can see how about the uh, current of the power supply the, the powers take another simulation so the current is half when we increase double the pulse with modulations here then the um, powers will be half then the speed will be half also only a half all right so that is demonstrate how the pulse with modulations used for uh, motor controllers okay it's the 78 something rpm and 35 so so that's it that is the pulse with modulation experiment see you in next video for the uh, microcontrollers programming using a cpp or pulse modulation modules thank you and see you later